it's Chris with the Meeple's Market, and we're doing a uh, leaving our collection video for games that didn't quite make the cut for me or Lynn, but mostly me. Pretty much only me. I think I think I'm the problem. All right. So first game, the Aquacorn Cove board game. Uh, it's from Renegade Games. I played this other game that's from the same universe or something. Uh, Dragon Tea Party, I think. Um, I don't. It's just not for me. As for why, it's a co-op game, which I'm a big fan of. The components are cool. The art's cool. But it's just one of those co-ops. I don't know how to explain them. <clears throat> Damage control. It's the same reason why I'm not a big fan of like Pandemic. Like their games were just like, it feels like bad stuff happens to you a lot. And you're just like... Oh, 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 let me fix that. Let me fix that. Oh, we should have done this because then if this happened, we could have fixed that. And it just feels like the whole game, you're just like on the back foot chasing stuff. And to me, it's just not fun. Um, the art's cool, though. So if you want a light-ish co-op game, it might be for you. But for me, no thanks. Next one, which I kind of feel bad for. It's uh, Dive. We... Uh, I think we just got this last week or the week before. It's uh, from Sit Down Games. Really cool concept. Really cool components. Beautiful game. Uh, it's just a little bit more light than what I'm looking for. Uh, this is the one where the, the, the clear tiles stack up. And you're looking to see um, you know, which, which ones have animals on them. And you don't want sharks. And you're picking which ones you're going to dive into. <clears throat> really cool and unique. But it just... Uh, I don't see myself playing it over and over again. I think it's a good, like, light filler game if you have people coming over to play games. I unfortunately don't have people coming over to play games. It's mostly just me and Lynn playing games together. So I'm not really going to be grabbing for this, and there's not anyone to bust it out to and show, like, hey, check out these sweet clear tile things. You probably haven't seen a game do this before. So after, after the first couple plays that we had, I'm okay with letting that one go. Merchant's Cove. Uh, as you can see, this is Merchant's Cove and everything for it. Uh, the Secret Stash. The Oracle still in shrink wrap. The Innkeeper still in shrink wrap. The Dragon Rancher still in shrink wrap. And then the Base Box. Um, why don't we want this? Or why don't I want this? Because I think Lynn really likes this game and thinks it's a lot of fun. Um, like the other games. But... For me, it's just uh, a really cool concept, but the, you know, each each player plays a different character that has their own shop, and each shop has its own sort of mini game, like asymmetric play. But the games themselves just like aren't that deep. Um, like it really feels like once you learn how how to play, once I learn how to play the character, like you just play the character. There's not a whole ton of choices between each one. Uh, like the blacksmith, like the first time I played it, I was like, oh, cool, you get to roll these dice, and I'm going to make stuff with the dice, and I love dice, so this is fun. But then it's like, there's not a lot of choices in what I'm doing with the dice. I'm just kind of like, go here, make this, make this. That's how I get product. And then you play another uh, another character, and it's the same thing. It's a different mechanic, but it's still just like, let me go through the motions to make some product, and then go take it to the shop, uh, to the auction thing, and, and try to sell stuff. Uh, cool concept. Just not uh, not enough to make me want to keep playing it um, for what it is. So that's why that's leaving. I didn't get to play these three expansions, but I don't think that they would change my opinion too much about how the Merchant's Cove is. Uh, we got Oceans. I'm sorry. It's just not for me. Lynn, Lynn really wanted this. Lynn thinks it's cool. Uh, beautiful art. Love the art. The game's gorgeous. Won't argue it. Uh, the gameplay, though, I, after I played it, it was just like, okay, yep, I did that. Do I want to do it again? No, not really. Do I care about what I just did? Eh, not really. Was it fun? Mm, not really. Was it like pulling teeth? No. But, uh... As you can see, there's plenty of games to choose from. 
I'm not grabbing for oceans. The other thing that I thought was weird is like, there's this limited edition, but it seems like the limited edition is basically like the standard edition almost, from what I can find, because everyone has a limited edition for sale. So I don't, I don't know what's so limited about it. And then there's like the deluxe edition that has the actual like cool stuff that you would think would be in the limited edition. Uh, so that part kind of annoyed me too. But uh, beautiful game. I think it's probably similar to uh, Evolution. I never played it, but if you like Evolution, maybe you like Oceans. I don't like Oceans. That's all I can tell you. Chronicles of Crime, the Millennium series. So I played the original Chronicles of Crime, and I was kind of lukewarm on it. And uh, I don't know. These are in different years, and it's kind of like cool. I thought it would change it up a bit. It's just not for me. I'm not big on the uh, the app thing. I, I don't know. It, it's less of a board game for me. Like you, you just use the the thing and you're scanning the cards and it's a cool concept. If you like crime games and and mysteries and puzzle solving, like the the Sherlock Holmes games, where you're doing. I don't know. I, I guess I'm just not a good investigator or something. I don't know. It, it's not fun to me. I don't want to ask people questions. Um, or scan cards and stuff. So this is the uh, like the Kickstarter collection. Everything fits in one box. Comes with all the stuff plus the uh, expansion that puts it all together. And then we got the uh, the play mat. This whole bundle is going away. We only played the fourteen hundred one. Um, that's enough for me to know that it's it's the, just like the other original Chronicles of Crime. So if you like that, you probably love this. But uh, if you didn't like that. I want to suggest trying to pick this up like we did. And then the last game that is going to be leaving, which really sucks. Not the game. It just sucks that it has to leave. But uh, it's going to be Cryo from Z-Man Games. We just did the... Uh, we, we just unboxed it and played it this past week. Super excited. The art... The whole aesthetic of this game, I love it. It's like comic booky. There's like the bold, bold lines. Everything's outlined in black. the The colors are vibrant. The, the The tokens are sweet. You get plastic drones. These little plastic like cryo stasis, uh, not jars, but like tubes that humans would climb into. Dual layer player boards. These uh, cubes to represent the resources, and they're like sweet looking cubes. They got sparkles in them. Some of them are like cloudy it, it's sweet the game looks sweet um i just don't like it it's not fun to me uh like sometimes i get really excited for a game and this is one of the few times that i got really excited to play a game and then when i played it it was just like this is not what i wanted this game to be uh if you like super tight worker placement games the kind of games like uh probably like agricola where you're like struggling to feed your family and like generally if you're not great at the game you just feel like a terrible human after every round because you're like oh man i couldn't feed my 17 kids and my cows don't have a pen to call home and i don't have a roof and i don't even have an oven and you just feel like that after every round and you're like oh i can't do anything i wanted to do that's what cryo feels like to me um there's 20 things that you want to do and maybe if you're lucky you can do one or two of them i much rather games that is like here, have all these resources, have all this stuff, and I'll find the best way that you can use them so you can make the best out of that as opposed to what everybody else is doing. This is more just like, yes, great, bye, kick rocks, have fun. Uh, so, bye-bye to Cryo. And that's it for now. The games that are leaving the collection. Uh, we have more games coming in the collection in the future, so look out for those unboxings. And then as soon as we have another bundle of games that... Uh, probably that I don't like since Lynn likes everything and I hate everything. Uh, we'll do another games that are leaving. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these or you want to know more about what I don't like or why we're getting rid of them, feel free to comment and ask that. Uh, you can thumbs up that video if you thought this was cool, if you want to see more of these, um, and hit the subscribe button because all that lets us know that you like what we're doing and then uh, we'll do more of this. If you don't like this and you don't hit the thumbs up button, then I think everybody hates me and I don't make more. So please do that. Thank you. Bye-bye.
Jesus, you can change your shirt. <laughs>